So we're talking about diagnosing a VP44 problem today, and one of the first things that we're going to ask you, if you call us and you say, hey, got a 98 to 02 truck, won't start. First thing that we're going to ask you is, if do, do you have power to the VP44? This is after we go through all the other things, motor turning over, you know, just basic ground questions. If the motor is turning over, it's turning over quickly, we're not having a battery issue, we don't have flames shooting out from underneath of the hood. We're going to start down the technical aspects of trying to figure out what is going on with your fuel system. So, in talking about diagnosing the fuel system, one of the first things that we're going to ask you is, do you have power to your VP44? Now, VP44 has a 12 volt signal that comes into it, and that's where all the magic happens inside of the computer that is on the injection pump to be able to make fuel pressure and for a functioning electronic over mechanical fuel injection pump to be able to make fuel pressure for the engine to run. Now there's a lot of technical aspect to that but the basics of that is we have to have power to the pump before the VP44 will do its job. Now we also have to have fuel pressure things like that, a sound motor, all of those things but the first question again that we're going to ask you is do you have power to the VP44? Second question we're going to ask you is, do you have lift pump pressure? Um, but power to the VP44. So that's what we're going to talk to you about today. We're going to show you checking for power to the VP44. This video kind of ties back in with our breakout box video. It's a really good complement to the breakout box video. Um, breakout box is a, a Cummins tool that we offer here at Thoroughbred Diesel uh, to sell. And as if you're a VP44 customer, as a loan or service to try to diagnose what you've got going on with the truck. Um, and this is just basically um, uh, reversing all of that and figuring out why we have power, we, why we don't have power to the VP44 or if we do have power to the VP44. So we'll go ahead and get started. So first off, we're going to talk to you about the tool that we're using to diagnose the electrical system here. And it's going to be just a simple test light. Now listen, if you're one of the keyboard pirates that want to um, voice your opinion about using a test light for basic 12 volt diagnosis, please turn this video off. Don't watch, don't go any farther, jump on another video and do all your commenting on there because this is not what this is about today. We're going to teach you basic diagnosis on 12 volt power being delivered to the VP44. Now, can you do this with a voltmeter? Yes, absolutely you can. Does proper voltage going to the pump uh, is the, do we have to have that for proper operation of the pump? Absolutely we do. Do we measure that with a voltmeter? Absolutely we do. However, ground level diagnosis, do we have power to the pump, can definitely be had with just a simple test light. You can test power and ground with a test light. Easy, quick, keep one in the truck. If you drive one of these old trucks like I do, I've got a couple of them, you just, you, you just keep one with you so you can be able to diagnose stuff like this. So test light, operation of a test light, You've got an alligator clip on one end, you've got the business end on the other end, you can check power and you can check ground. To see if you've got power to something, you clip the alligator clip onto the ground and then you check the positive side. You can see you've got power. If you want to check to see if your ground's good, you reverse that. You put your alligator clip on the, on the positive side of the battery and then you check the ground. Should test light should light up. That means you've got power, you've got ground. Really, really good, a really, really good quick test to see if you've got good fuses. In a fuse, you've got two legs on a fuse. You can take a test light, touch both legs of the fuse. If the light lights up on both legs, then that means that the fuse is good. Now, obviously, this has to do with the key on power source. If it's key on power, then you would have power to the legs of the fuse. But that's just quick, good, and easy diagnosis of whether you've got a good fuse. So. Now that we've talked about uh, power to the fuses, using a test light, basic 12 volt diagnosis without having to look at a voltmeter to tell us exactly what our voltage is, this just tells us whether we've got power to the pump or not. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and key off in the truck. You're gonna wind up getting a code out of this anyway, it doesn't really matter, but I just like to disconnect something with the key off to the power because you will have no power to the pump at this point. You're gonna go to your VP44 and you're gonna grab your wiring harness. It's got a slide lock on it. Adam's not gonna be able to see that. I'm going to disconnect the slide lock and then I'm going to pull the harness out and I'm going to place it up here so you can look at it. So your harness on your VP44 is going to be oriented on the VP44 just like so with the slide lock engaged correctly like just like this. Okay. 
Yeah. All right, it's time for time for the business end of this. We're checking to see if we have power to the VP44. So at this point, we have the connector unhooked from the VP44. We have the key on inside of the truck. We have it in the, the run position, so we're going to check. We should at this point have power to the VP44. So let's check. So we're looking for pin number seven, which is going to be the bottom pin closest to the block when it's on the pump, and we have power there, okay? Now, as I'm doing this test, I want you to know, everybody's gonna say, uh, you know, these are electrical connectors. Using the test light here, don't go jamming the test light into the electrical connector, because what this is gonna do is this is gonna, here's a, here's a good southern term for you, this is gonna waller this out, and it's not gonna make a good connection when it goes back to the VP44. So you just wanna test it. You just wanna touch it with your test light. If you've got a good ground, you're gonna be, you're gonna have a test light that's gonna be lit up there. Again, we can test that with, with a digital multimeter, but, or with a multimeter, and that'll tell us the same thing. So we've got power to our number seven pin, which is correct. But now we wanna make sure that we have got a ground at this connection too. So remember I said pin number six, which is um, the top row of the pin closest to the block, we're gonna check for ground. So we've switched our test light over the power side and we should have a positive test light right here because we've got a good ground. All right, we've got exactly what we need. So if the question from Thoroughbred Diesel was, do you have power to your VP44? You would say in this instance, yes, I do. I have power to my number seven pin. I have a good ground to my number six pin. We should be good to go on the electrical side of starting. So now let's talk about if you don't have power to the number seven pin. So I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna put my test light in here and I'm gonna support my test light so it's not putting unneeded pressure on that receptacle and wallering it out. So we've got a good bright light. We know we've got good 12 volt power to the pump. If I don't have power there, why does that happen, Wade? I'm gonna show you three things underneath of the hood in the power distribution center as to where that can happen. And then I'm gonna show you one fuse inside the cap. So just basic, uh, diagram of how you get power to the VP44. So your power is coming, is delivering from key on in the truck and the power is on. You also have, have to have power source coming from the ECM, pin number 36 on the ECM, delivering power to the fuel system relay that allows the power to come to our number seven pin uh, ground as well. So if we have a knockdown of power from the ignition switch, let's say the ignition switch is bad and, and we're having bad contact there, we're, we're not gonna have a good test light here. Uh, or we're not gonna have power here. Um, if you have an interruption to power to the ECM, you're not gonna have power here. So let's give you a couple of examples of how we can get power interruption to them. Oh, we've talked about our key, on, our key switch could be bad. Um, don't see a lot of that. Uh, sometimes in these trucks, uh, interruption of power the second major, well, I'm sorry, that's gonna be one of the other problems, but the major thing that we see and the major the problem that we run into is what's called the fuel system relay being bad. So a really, really good test for this. So if you look inside of your, um, if you look inside of your power distribution, this is your legend map of what each fuse is. The fuel system relay is marked inside of the, uh, inside the hood. You just wanna find that fuel system relay. So that fuel system relay, I'm gonna pull it and you'll see the light will go out. Okay, if you wanna to check to see if the fuel system relay is what your problem is, just grab your horn relay. So you see your horn relay in here. The horn relay is the exact same style of relay uh, as the fuel system relay. So you can just pop it out, put your, your horn relay in. If you get your test light, you know you had a bad relay. If you didn't get a test light, then you've got another problem. So I'm gonna put my horn relay back where it came from and we'll go back to my fuel system relay so we're good. All right, now, what is a couple of other things that you could have in the power distribution center that could be a problem? Your 20 amp engine control fuse, which is going to be on this upper row here, this fuse could be popped and this could be a problem. I'm gonna remove it. I'm gonna show you the test light going out here. So we have power to the VP44. Again, I'm on the 20 amp engine control fuse. If this fuse somehow gets popped, no power to the VP44. This is another, another fuse for you to be looking for, okay? And then you have the 50 amp ignition run, which is in the next row, third 
uh, third fuse up, the 50 amp ignition run fuse. If this power circuit gets interrupted, no power to the VP44. So there's three things in the underhood distribution center that could be a problem for you if you have an interruption of power to the VP44. Now, if you have an interruption of ground at the VP44, you're going to be looking for chassis grounds, grounds at the battery, um, things of that nature. You're just going to be chasing grounds. Really good time, really good, uh, uh, really good thing to just go ahead and try to get an, uh, uh, a wiring schematic. Sorry, if I couldn't find the words there. A wiring schematic is going to be your friend here. So you can chase down the ground, find out where that ground is on the VP44, chase it down, see if you've got a break in the wire. So power and ground. We've got one more uh, thing that's inside the cab. Obviously inside the cab you can have a bad key switch like we like we talked about, but there is a fuse in the fuse panel inside of the cab. And I'm going to bring the legend out and show it to you. Adam's going to come around here. So fuse panel inside the cab. The number nine fuse here, 10 amp for engine. This is an interruption of power to the ECM as well. And you can watch here. You pull that fuse. Boop. No power to the ECM. No power to the ECM. No power to our VP44. And voila. So that's three or four good things for you to look at if you have a no power condition to your VP44. If you're working on a no start diagnosis. At this point, if you've got power to the VP44, the next thing we're going to talk to you about is going to be fuel pressure. We have several videos on checking fuel pressure on these trucks, lift pump pressure, uh, which is the lifeblood of the VP44. But yeah, so that's a good quick run through of just basic 12 volt diagnosis in the VP44 electrical system and how to check for those. Um, on some trucks, and I don't know the specific year of this, I should have gotten that before I came into the video, I apologize. There is an actual fuse in the power distribution center underneath the hood for fuel system. Uh, so it's a, I, I don't know what the, the size of fuse is. Look for that fuse. And checking for blown fuses is going to be part of your overall diagnosis. If you're having a wiring problem and you're having no, uh, no power to the, um, to the VP44, don't just go to the specific fuses that I've laid out to you. Check all your fuses here. See if, if the main band fuse going in the power distribution center is popped or um, you know several different things. So if you've got no power to the VP44, you've got a major electrical uh, issue going on. We've given you a couple of simple things to look for, some common stuff, fuel system relay, uh, fuses to be checked for. But you know if it's a larger issue, just keep tracking at it, keep looking forward. Uh, make sure you're checking for power and then just make sure that you're also checking for your ground. So I'm Wade from Thoroughbred Diesel. This is a VB44 diagnostic video. If you have any questions, just give us a call and thank you for watching.